control flippers or pop bumpers, and I roller disable switches as inputs on the same output channel. Hello, my name is Adam Humphreys, and I would like to share with you a dilemma and my proposed solution to it. Looking around on the net, I'm blown away by how many various and powerful processing boards are out there, ever shrinking in size and cost. And then I look at the power hardware side of things, and I'm a little disappointed. For the most part, projects I've worked on need to get a microcontroller to do some heavy lifting. I've seen a number of Arduino shields, but naturally they need a full Arduino, you don't have a choice in the few FETs used, and little to no flexibility in their physical connections. The only other readily available option were classic relay boards, with their inherent classic drawbacks. And then one day, someone on DeviantArt posted me a link to their photos of a pinball convention after seeing my design concepts for a six-segment LED display. Needless to say, I was fairly impressed and that summer my dad and I visited the Lone Star Pinball Museum. And that was a pretty awesome experience, so I wondered, what does it take to make a homemade pinball machine? After a lot of research, the prospects weren't as promising as I had hoped, especially for a limited budget. But I noticed the same general problem, getting logic to do some real work. I mean, solid state pinball controllers and driver boards were available, but the few that had any documentation at all still had a fixed interface. You really didn't have a way to change it or give it custom commands. But what impressed me the most were the black box driver boards that used a sleek ethernet cable for their serial interface. They are also smaller boards, but unfortunately they are also the most expensive and you didn't have a clue how to use them. That's where the Protean 8x2 comes in. All you have just seen has been with one configuration of the Protean 8x2. Though not fully optimized for each demonstration, you get the idea. I wanted a way to control multiple different things in multiple different ways in one convenient package without a high expense or learning curve. Not just pinball, but anything that needs some power behind it. So if you would like to help me solve this dilemma, this lack of flexible and easy to configure power hardware, then back the Protean 8x2 and help me bring this solution to life. Thank you for watching.